project is a non-profit foundation about visual art and photography. If you want to help us, just drop a donation on buymeacoffee.com slash Berlin Explorer. Hello, so, welcome to this uh, 50 minute of experience. Today I'm with hey. Rodrigo Coscarelli Lodi. Welcome, Rodrigo. Thank you so much, Emiliano. It's your pleasure. It's a pleasure to have you here. And um, as uh, you told me, your English is not uh, really good. I want to say that to the listeners. And this is a, a pleasure more because you are trying to speak a language is not your. And uh, you. so today we talk about uh, your experience as uh, not only as a photographer, but also as an artist, also because you are uh, you're writing poetry. And this is yep. so nice. And... Uh, um, so let's start to, to talk about first uh, of who you are, if you can introduce a bit yourself, what, uh, what is your roots, and then we can go up of that. Uh, okay, so well, I'm a Brazilian writer, I'm a, a, a poet, uh, but I'm, I have a passion about the world. Uh, I just like to, to travel a lot and meet new, new cultures. And I just travel to to uh, to see the place, but to touch the places and the people, uh, to understand the culture, uh, and I always try to do that. Of course, now with this uh, COVID situation, uh, it's not being possible to travel abroad. Uh, but anyway, uh, uh, it's just a passion I have, and I was always writing about the places I visit. Uh, but suddenly I was feeling like uh, I need something more. And that's how I started to try to uh, develop some skills in photography. I always had a passion for, for photography, but I always uh, saw it like something very, very far apart from my skills. Uh, but uh, I said, okay, let's give it a try because I... I, I I need to to show the things that I'm not the things that I'm seeing, but the things that I'm feeling. Uh, because I, I think photography it's it's a not interpretation of what you see. It's not exactly what you see, but what you're uh, what you're feeling right now in that moment. Uh, and uh, and I felt that I uh, writing was a part of it, but not uh, but I couldn't. Uh, I could made myself completely clear just by writing. So I decided to to try to understand better uh, the principles of photography and, uh, and try to develop myself as a photographer. Uh, and that's how it, it started. I don't consider myself like a, a, like a real photographer, pro photographer, but a, a passionate photographer, more than an amateur photographer. Yeah, in some in some podcasts I've talked also about this topic, and uh, I was asking what is the difference between a, an amateur and uh, a professionist. Uh, if you keep going to doing something for uh, almost of your life, uh, I don't see any differences. The only difference is uh, how much you get from that uh, in money value, we can say. But uh, sure. Uh, we are not here to looking how much money someone can do it with photography. I've I have seen photographers that are uh, probably better than a lot of master photographer in the world, and mm. uh, they was keeping them picture inside of uh, them them archive in uh, them houses, uh, and uh, never show this picture to anyone. And uh, yeah, in I'm. I have a reference of a guy I met when I was 18 years old and he was traveling uh, six months uh, in, around the world and six months he was working in Naples. And uh, uh, yeah, the picture of him was so incredibly uh, poetic, uh, beautiful. I never seen a picture like that anymore in my life. And uh, yeah, it's, and uh, I see a lot of photographer every day. So. And the, yeah. the, the, the powerful, you know, uh, of uh, these images, the, 
how he was getting in touch with the, some cultures for me touched the touched myself a lot and um then i can say uh, yeah there is no differences between to be a photographer to be a human i mean in the end we are all humans and uh yeah, yeah. we can be photographer poet uh, we can be everything we can work uh, in, uh, in every kind uh, of situation and uh, this is the true part that uh, every human being can learn almost everything so we we are um, also subject uh, influenced from the states we we are putting ourselves so sure. uh, it's i think this is a topic really important to talk about because um, yeah we are uh, used to give label to the people in base of uh, how they get money from sure and sometimes there are some kind of arts don't provide us money i mean we can keep a, an example of van gogh no it's one of the artists yeah most uh, knows today in the world that uh, yeah it was not get, getting any money when when he was doing the painter when he was alive and uh, that's uh, one of the, the 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 things to keep just this metaphor no so yeah that's 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 a really important what you said you know because that's a decision i made uh, some years ago when i decided uh, to be an artist uh, because it's a lot of friends of mine they were struggling really hard uh, because they had to make money uh, to survive so they, they they were doing things that they really didn't appreciate doing and, and then they were saying like especially when i became a photographer uh my photographers and my uh, they're 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 pro photographers they're telling me okay i kind of envy you because you you do what you like and we can't do what we like we have to do what other people uh, like so uh, it's really an important uh, uh, important question about uh, the, the liberty of being an artist and I think if you're not uh, stuck to the money issue uh, I mean you can basically you can you can do whatever you feel whatever you want uh, you might not be recognized now maybe never but it really doesn't matter because you're doing something that makes you feel good and maybe makes other people feel good about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's like that. So yeah. to go on in our conversation, I've seen you visited some places in the world that are uh, probably yeah. a dream for many, uh, maybe for not not for many, uh, but not for many. <laughs> for, for me, for me, for sure. Uh, I mean, uh, yeah, you was in Patagonia, you was in uh, yeah. Antarctic, you was in Morocco. He was in many places in the world, really mm. attractive uh, and really touchable. We can see in every sense of humanity, of natures. And uh, uh, I can imagine, yeah, you do it not principally for, for photography, these, these places, but uh, this travel, but uh, for your pleasure. And uh, then you had the occasion to take some photograph from uh, that um, travel you did. But some of these photographs you did are not really of a tourist eyes. And that's uh, yeah. what is I think is uh, nice that uh, you tried. Uh, uh, I can see in some picture you you touch the the uh, the life of other humans uh, in a way. You get in touch with them. And uh, can you share with us just one of uh, uh, this moment was really powerful for you in one of these travel you did. Yeah, you know, well, I think one of the most important things, uh, you have to understand the place you're in. You just can't uh, be there and uh, start snapping pictures all over the place. You, you have to know uh, the people, have to know the culture. Of course, uh, yeah, uh, you don't have all this time uh, every time you're traveling, but I always try to do that. Uh, so uh, when I get some place, uh, let's say I went to 
to Xingu. I don't know if you're familiar with Xingu. Xingu is a place in, in, in Brazil uh, where it's where most Indian tribes are located. It's an isolated place. Uh, you can't go there unless you're invited by the, the natives. And uh, uh, so it's it's really a hard place to get even for Brazilians, it's not easy to be there because not many people are welcome there. But um, uh, I have a, a very good friend who has been with uh, this, this people, this tribe for, for most of his life. And, and uh, he invited me to go with him. And uh, what I did was when I, I got there, I say, okay, I'm here. I'll, I'll 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 be here for about ten days. So I'll not take pictures right now. I just I just want to be with them uh, and get to know them. So I put my camera away, and for two or three days, I was just living the life with them. So I was going uh, uh, fishing. Uh, hunting, doing whatever they were doing, try, uh, trying to feel part of it. And then on the th uh, third or fourth day, I start to, to, to take pictures. And it's really, it's really very different because uh, you kind of understand better what they are doing. They are more comfortable with you. Uh, so it, it's a totally different experience. I'm not just documenting something. I, uh, um, it's, it's like I'm documenting the feeling, and and, and you you feel more like you don't have just to. Uh, it's not journalism. Okay, I gotta I gotta take pictures of whatever they are doing, but uh, you start to being more poetic about the pictures. Uh, and, and, and try to get the feeling of the place. So that's basically the principle. Well, of course, uh, a very famous photographer there is from my, my state, the, uh, Sebastião Salgado. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, and the, he also, she, he, he always says uh, the, the importance of of trying to feel the location Yuri. And of course he has been able to, to stay in some place for four or five months and most people can't do that I can't do that yeah. uh, but it's really really important even if you're there for uh, if you're there for one day or two days so okay I'm not take, I'm not taking pictures of everywhere but when I'm taking pictures, I'll try to do my best to get the, the feeling of this place. So yeah. everywhere I've been, that's, that's the basic principle I, I have. I have a passion about uh, Africa. Uh, actually, I'm going to be publishing a, a book about Ethiopia. There will be, there will be uh, poetry and photographs about uh, uh, Ethiopia. And uh, there are many things being said about Ethiopia, uh, but not many people understand uh, uh, the culture, the feelings of the people, and uh, and I try uh, and I try to my best to to do that when I was there. Uh, that's the, the the basic principle for me. Try to understand the people. Try to uh, try to live for a very brief moments the life uh, they are living. Now, some experience like in in, in Niger, I've been able to 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 uh, stay on a, a lady's house. She had she had lost her son, and she said that he was about my age uh, when he was killed. And she invited me to her home. I stayed there for for three days, and it was an amazing uh, experience. And I'll be able to attend a wedding. Uh, it, it was great. I mean, it's it's basically it's even more important than the photographers you 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 take to 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 live these moments. Uh, so I guess basically art is is just a, 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 an excuse for you to understand and to and to feel the world as it is. Yeah.
Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. It's it's uh, totally. I mean, uh, art for me is a word uh, totally has no sense. I think. Uh, I mean, it's a word uh, uh, is in my life from uh, the moment uh, I was born, and uh, had never a sense really clear for me, and I never use it uh, a lot. I touch much more the the feel that uh, uh, that especially in photography uh, we we use the tool. We are the tool. I think uh, this is my my way to think. We are the tool, yeah. and we yeah. use other tool just to get in touch with stuff we cannot uh, easily get in touch uh, with the, our mind to less our body and our soul. And for the rest, for me, art can be everything. Art for me can be also the fat woman uh, on the punk at uh, eating. Yeah. You know, so, so for me, it can be everything. And uh, it's, it's everything in way of uh, how you sell that. Because in the end, uh, art uh, come from, uh, for sure, uh, also a way of uh, an old uh, way of marketing so that's uh, i mean the art uh, word was connected uh, to describe the um, work homework uh, of some particular people in the past was working for the king and uh, yeah yeah i think uh, in the end, uh, it's described a lot of what uh, we have and we don't have in our conception of the world but um, to jump out uh, from this topic, uh, just because I, I like also poetry, I also wrote poetry for some some years. Oh, great! I, I would love to ask you if you can uh, uh, easily now find out uh, a poetry you wrote and you can read us. Uh, oh my God! Well, there 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 is a, there is a, uh, uh, a problem about that. It's because I write in Portuguese, uh, and one of the harder. Th- Hardest things there is is try to translate the poetry. Now without translating, uh, I mean, I mean, uh, without poetry. translating, yeah. yes. So okay, I just oh, oh. I'll get one then. Yeah, for I'll us, pick one. Uh, you you yeah. have that, uh, and uh, and I, I I hope you you like the sound of it because I know you. I, I like I like the Portuguese, so in general. <laughs> so. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, I have one in Spanish, uh, and I guess the Spanish could be uh, uh, better for, I mean, for 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 some people. There, there are more people speaking Spanish than Portuguese, certainly in the world. So, uh, let's you try want, the one you want. You are free. Uh, yeah. Okay. So um, I'll try. I'll try to do this one. It's called Pasionaria. Uh, it's a, something like this: Tu caminas por una barca de pies y relicarios. Una pasionaria bailando abstracta y lunar por las prisas. Un tango soplando su cuerpo, modea en la esperanza una silueta levemente azul, profunda, pasional, vestido de constelaciones. Tú induces mi último llanto y me agasaja en sus panos de pérgolas. Después se diluye de un aliento como un murmullo de voto que elige los sentidos y se levanta inmensa al futuro. Altar de piedras y cristal. Tú, un curso, una luz infalible, un sigilo imposible y sinuoso de amor. Tú, una santería. Amazing. That's it. Amazing. I mean, I understood because uh, uh, it's uh, my knowledge of Italian and uh, Spanish. So, yeah, they are pretty close, right? Uh, 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 Italian and Spanish, they are yeah. very, very similar to, to each other. It's uh, really nice the, the way you compose it, the, um, the, the metaphor also inside of that. Really yeah, well, 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 you said something about uh, 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 the poetry being uh, like a, uh, a, a woman in the streets, uh, and that's how I write poetry. I use uh, this specific poem I was in Argentina, in Buenos Aires, and I just sat on a cafe, and I, uh, I stayed there just for about the whole uh, uh, the whole afternoon and watching people uh, go by uh, then i start to write and, and that's it so yeah yeah i try I to imagine yeah 
I totally know the feeling. I mean, uh, so yeah. when I started to write poetry, uh, I, I stopped to take picture because I was not uh, really in picture anymore. I was not able to take in picture in that period, or I was not catching what I wanted to catch. And I yeah. started to just uh, doing this exercise with myself. I was taking just a whole page of blank and writing every words for everything I was seeing and was cat capturing my attention. And then I thought I stop when it, the, the blank page was full of words. Mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, doing something else for one hour. And then after one hour, getting again on the page, watching the page and uh, mm -hmm. getting from the page, the words was coming out from the page, you know, to, to my attention. Yeah. And from these words, uh, trying the connection between them to create a metaphor to express something I was imagining. So Im creating image inside of my mind yeah. using the influences uh, from the influences outside uh, got it before. Really? So, yeah, it's, it's a, you, I mean, the, the powerful of the poetry uh, and the, this is interesting because it's, a, it's an art that uh, combined, combined with the photography, it's uh, really good because also photography is a way to write poetry. And, yeah. uh, for that, we can say, yeah, the, the origin of the name of, uh, of the photography is writing with the light. No? Yeah. So it's, it's uh, and in a way we create metaphor because uh, no one can really receive uh, the same emotion and feeling we had uh, in the moment we took a picture, but we can give uh, uh, another composition, another grammatic uh, to read our life. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, uh, uh, and, and that's what uh, is on my profile, uh, uh, my photography profile. Uh, I've, I've written that it's, it's just a poet faking lights, uh, which is uh, I'm, I'm just trying to to uh, by seeing the lights and try to create my my own lights, my way of, of seeing them and of writing them. Yeah. Uh, and that's the way I see myself more than a, a, a photographer. Uh, um, uh, I mean, uh, I was interested uh, in you as a human uh, uh, and uh, not in you as only photographer. So <laughs> thank, thank you, you so a much. Lot. I thank you a lot for your time and uh, for your work. Thank you, Emiliano. Uh, thank you. And... Uh, uh, this was Rodrigo. You, you can see the, the link in the description to visit him and to read the poetry of him or translating it if you want. And uh, thank you a lot mm -hmm. for your time. I hope thank you, you have a great time. Thanks for listening to our podcast. Learn more about our project at allmylinks.com slash Berlin Explorer or visit our Instagram and follow Berlin Explorer project.